So Allah here is ordering the people of Medina for the, for the people of that time and even for all people till the day of Qiyamah, Allah is ordering them to be alert, ordering them to be careful and to take protections and to protect and to guard the Islamic State by all means and all mechanisms. As Allah says, the merit and the order of protecting an Islamic State, Allah says in Surah Al Imran, the last verse of Surah Al Imran, verse number 200, Allah says, Ya Yuhallazina Amanu, Isbiru wa Sabiru wa Rabitu wa Takullah Allakum Tuflikun. O the believers, do what? Be patient. Advise people of patience. And do what? Unite with each other and protect the Islamic State, the state, the boundaries of the Islamic State. And then do what? Fear Allah so that you may be successful. So this is the, these are the four tips for the people of an Islamic community to be successful, to be patient, to advise people of patience, to connect with one another and to be united and unite and protect the boundaries of and to be watchful of the boundaries of the Islamic State and to fear Allah. These are the tips to success. What are the merits of guarding? What is the excellence of taking action for security of the Muslim state and its boundaries? Hazrat Sulaiman who reports in Nisai that Prophet said, Whosoever keeps watch in the way of Allah for one day and one night deserves the reward equal to the person who stands throughout the night, who stands in in a state of salah throughout the night and who keeps fasting for one month and the person who dies while keeping the watch will be rewarded is like the person above till the last day and he will be provided sustenance forever moreover he will remain safe from two from two torments that is the torment of the grave and the torment of the day of resurrection this is the merit of the person who is guarding the boundaries of an Islamic state. Hazrat Abu Huraira reports in Ibn Majah that Prophet says, Whoever dies while keeping watch in the way of Allah, the reward of his noble deeds will be, will continue till the last day. His sustenance will continue and he will be kept, he will remain safe from the torments of the grave and the torments of the day of resurrection. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised such a lot of reward. The Prophet says, Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas who reports in Tirmzi that the Prophet said, the fire of the hell will never touch two eyes. The fire of the hell will never touch two eyes. An eye that wept in the fear of Allah and an eye that spent the whole night keeping watch.